every prophet warned his people about the Antichrist, about Dajjal, the false messiah. The age is upon us. Deception has spread. Corruption reigns. Wars increase. Injustice, famine, death. Is all hope lost? Have we come to the point of no return? The real question is, how did it come to this? Has the world gone blind? Is it all coincidence? Or has it all been planned for centuries? Everything up until this moment. Pieces of the puzzle coming together. For what? Or more importantly, for who? Happiness is built on the false, the temporary, the material. Faith, though present in name, has lost its soul. Instead, it has been replaced by hate, envy, and greed. As the saying goes, divide and conquer. Have we not been divided? Have we not had our souls conquered? Have we moved away from the lessons of the teachers of the past? And adopted the lessons of the teachers of the present? Where will this eventually take us? Who are we serving? Do you know? There are those who do. They've been planning, working, praying for his coming. And they are doing everything in their power to keep you in the dark to turn you into lost souls, blind to their control. All the while, you are kept too busy to see that they have built the new world order, ready for his arrival. research, I'm convinced it's much more serious than that. It's more than a loose-knit network. It is a conspiracy. Um, the new order of the world, our enterprise is now a success. He said these blind slaves say they are free and highly educated, even as they march behind, notice this word, signs. Have you ever taken time 
to analyze a sign or a billboard or a logo. start up here in 1784 an act of god placed the bavarian government in possession of evidence which proved the existence of the continuing luciferian conspiracy this the plan required the destruction of all existing governments and religions in 1776 weishaupt organized the illuminati to put the plot into execution the word illuminati is derived from lucifer and means holders of the light Weishaupt's revised plan required his Illuminati to do the following things to help them accomplish their purpose. One, use monetary and sex bribery to obtain control of people already occupying positions in high places in the various levels of all governments and other fields of human endeavor. Once an influential person had fallen for the lies, deceits, and temptations of the Illuminati, they were to be held in bondage by application of political and other forms of blackmail and threats of financial ruin, public exposure, and physical harm, and even death to themselves and their loved ones. Number 12, told those present that they must use their wealth to have candidates chosen in public office who would be obedient to their demands and would be used as pawns in the game by the men behind the scenes. The advisors will have been bred, reared, and trained from childhood to rule the affairs of the world. Number 13, control the press. Number 16, infiltrate into the secret Freemasonry to be used for their purposes. That's been documented many times. Number 17, expound the value of systematic deception. Use high sounding slogans and phrases and advocate lavish promises to the masses even though they cannot be kept. I will not forget the wound to our country and those who inflicted it. I will not yield. I will not rest. I will not relent in waging this struggle for freedom and security for the American people. So I, I don't know where he is. Nor do, you know, I, I just don't spend that much time on it. We will not tire. We will not falter. And we will not fail. Uh, terror is bigger than one person. And I remember he was telling me how, <laughs> how you're going to see soldiers looking in caves for people in, the, in uh, Afghanistan and Pakistan and all these places. And, it's, and there's going to be this war on terror, of which there's no real enemy. Who knows if he's hiding in some cave or not. Uh, we hadn't heard from him in a long time. I mean, he's been tested unlike any other president this 9-11. We have in this past year made great progress in ending the long era of conflict and Cold War. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order. If I do not seek to understand what's happening here, then I've got peanuts in my head. When will I wake up? When will I begin to think what's happening here?